subby subjunctives. They can sync you when you're not looking. For Intermediate ESL Learners by Kat Avila. Verb moods express how you are thinking about something. There is a lot of overlap. For example, the imperative mood is used for commands, but you can also use the subjunctive mood. 1. Indicative mood expresses a fact or a question. 2. Imperative mood expresses a command, instruction, or request. 3. Subjunctive mood A. Expresses a situation that does not exist, has not happened, is doubtful or uncertain, or is not possible. B. Includes formal parliamentary meeting language. When you see instructive that clauses, think subjunctive mood. These clauses are associated with the voice of authority, command, formality, and obligation. The clauses use the present subjunctive form, or the base form of a verb. I ask that you be here early. I ask that you be here early. I demand that he do his homework. I demand that he do his homework. I insist that she have a cell phone. I insist that she have a cell phone. I move that we go to the convention in Los Angeles. I move that we go to the convention in Los Angeles. I prefer that they stay outside. I prefer that they stay outside. I propose that you not have the surgery now. I propose that you not have the surgery now. I recommend that you not try that. I recommend that you not try that. I request that you not stay out too late. I request that you not stay out too late. I suggest that you not eat too much. I suggest that you not eat too much. It is advisable that you leave as soon as possible. It's advisable that you leave as soon as possible. It is essential that you attend the meeting. It's essential that you attend the meeting. It is important that you finish the report. It's important that you finish the report. The recommendation that we not bring too much was a good one. The recommendation that we not bring too much was a good one. The suggestion that we not stay in the sun too long was ignored. The suggestion that we not stay in the sun too long was ignored. When you see if Hypothetical conditionals think subjunctive mood. For present or future time, use the past subjunctive form or simple pass. However, for the verb to be, use were 
for all subjects. So we say, if it were true. Now, some people may say, if it was true, but this is only grammatically correct for the indicative mood. For past time, use the past perfect subjunctive. If it had been true. For the clause, had I been there, the if is implied. When you see wishes, think subjunctive mood. For present or future time, use the past subjunctive. I wish I were rich. I wish I had money. I wish I could be rich. For past time, use the past perfect subjunctive. I wish I had been rich. I wish I had had money. I wish I could have been rich. For comparison, here are some examples of hypothetical conditionals and examples using the indicative mood. When you see subordinating conjunctions, think possible subjunctive mood. She would be happy if you were to go. He looks as if he were sick. She talks as though she were in charge. I request that he attend the ceremony. I would go unless it were to rain. I am staying, whether it be true or not. The subjunctive may sound strange because many speakers do not use it. It is used more in writing. The subjunctive is also found in traditional expressions. God bless you. God be with you. Heaven help us. God save the queen. Long live the king. Be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. Be that as it may, come hell and high water. Come what may, perish the thought. So be it. Suffice it to say that you trust me is important. You need not worry. Subjunctives can be hard. Subjunctives can be prim. But you won't get wet if you stay on top of them.